chapter 11 verse 18 I'm going to show you with the Bible that says when Christ returns all the nations will be angry I'm going to show you that right now Revelation 11 18 and the nations that were angry read it again and the nations were angry and they wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldst give reward unto thy servants the prophets when Christ returns he the time of judgment has come and he shall give reward to his servants the prophets read it again from the top of that verse and the nations were angry the nations were what angry the nations were what angry but your churches teach that all nations love jesus right they love white jesus that lie the image of the beast that's what they love they don't love the true black image of jesus they hate that image that's why the people of jesus went into slavery so-called black man, so-called black woman. You are the people of Christ. You are the people of Moses. You are the people of Solomon that went into slavery for breaking God's laws. That's who we are. That's who we be. Back to Psalms 83 now. Verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. So God does have enemies on the earth. Who are the enemies of God? All the nations. All the nations had a part in our captivity. From the white man to the African, from the African to the Arab, from the Arab to the Chinese man, from the Chinese man to the East Indians, they all had part in our slavery. Who are we? We're the children of Israel. We're the people of Moses, David, and Solomon. That's who we are. All nations had a part in our captivity. Read it again. For lo, the enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They are taking crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against thy people. You know what the problem is? You don't know you're the people of God. Right. You don't know you're the Israelites. Read that verse again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. But you think all nations love you, right? You think all nations love you. The Bible says the nations have taken crafty counsel against you. What do you think the United Nations is about? Do you so-called black men got a seat there? No, you don't. They barely let you in the door. Except you sweep their floors and cook their food. That's the only time they let you into the United Nations. Read that verse again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So the Bible prophesies that the nations took crafty counsel against the people of God. Who are the people of God? The Israelites. Who are the Israelites? You so-called black men and black women. You are the Israelites. There are 12 tribes that make up the one mighty nation of Israel. That's why they divided us into 12 major groups. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones? You're the hidden ones. You black men and women, you're the hidden ones. No, but you, is, the truth has been hid so far from you, you don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. The truth has been hid from you. Hold that. Give me Deuteronomy, uh, I think it's 32 and 26. The truth has been hidden from you. Why did they change your nationalities in slavery? What's the secret if you're nothing but Africans? The secret is you're not Africans. The secret is you're the chosen people of God. You're the people of Moses, David, Solomon, Christ. That's who you are. That's the secret. That's why they change your nationality every 10 years. You went from Negro to color, from color to Afro-American, from Afro-American to African-American, from African-American to black. What's the secret? What 
is the secret. The secret is you're more than you've become out here. You're more than you've become. What have we become? We've become nothing but thugs, prostitutes, lawyers, liars. Let me say it that way. That's what we've become. Lying ministers, that's what we've become out here. You got that scripture for me? Is that it, what I want? Yeah. I said, call in a reader. Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter, the 26th verse. I said, I will scatter them into corners. Who's speaking here? God Almighty. He said, if the Israelites break my laws, what would he do? I will scatter them into, into all corners. I would scatter the Israelites into corners. What are the corners we were scattered into? America was one corner we were scattered into. Brazil was another corner. Jamaica was another corner. Okay? Haiti was another corner. Santo Domingo was another corner. We were scattered in slavery. Read it again. I will scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. God says, furthermore, I will make the remembrance of the Israelites to cease from among men. Do you know who the 12 tribes of Israel are? No. You think you Afro-Americans, Bayesian, Guyanese. You think you Haitian. You think you West Indians. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who you are. That's who you be. The Israelites that came out of Egypt with Moses. Read it again. I said, I will scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Oh, has your remembrance of men been ceased? Yes, society thinks you're nothing but Negroes. Right. You're more than that. You American blacks, you're the tribe of Judah. You West Indian blacks, you're the tribe of Benjamin. You Haitian blacks, you the tribe of Levi. Read it again. I said, I will scatter them into corners. Meaning I will scatter you in slavery. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. And when we were made slaves, they changed our nationalities. They said, no, your name ain't Levi no more. Your name is Haitian. And they beat you to make you utter the name Haitian. They beat you so-called American blacks and said, you ain't Judah no more. Your name is black or Negro. And they forced you to utter those words. Read it again. I said, I will scatter them into corners. I will scatter you into slavery. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. You don't know who you are, black man. You're the nation of Israel. Go back to Psalms 83. Back to Psalms 83 and verse 3 again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. All nations have taken crafty counsel against us. You think you haven't because you're having sex with the white woman. No, that's not true. I'm having sex with the white woman. You simple black men. <laughs> you black women because you're having sex with the white man. Sin you, about you that. Simple as hell. All nations have taken crafty counsel right. against us. Read it again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones? You so-called black men and black women. The truth has been hidden from you. You are the hidden ones. What's been hidden? The truth that you're the Israelites. The truth that Christ is of your stock, your seed, your lineage. That's the hidden truth.
I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.